to look at lesson 4.9, the graph standardization theorem, where we will be able to look at an equation and then determine all the different things that's going that are going to happen to the graph. So it's kind of like how we had um, standard form for a line or for a quadratic. We have standard form for a sine and a cosine graph. The amplitude is always the absolute value of A, because remember amplitude is um, how far up or down from the axis it is, and since it's a distance, it's always positive. So even if the graph is flipped upside down, the actual amplitude is a positive number. Uh, the period is always found by taking 2 pi and dividing it by whatever that b value is right there. So whatever that value is, 2 pi divided by b gives us the period. The phase shift is always going to be the opposite of c, because remember, x lies. So if c is positive, it's going to be negative, and if c is negative, it's going to be positive. And the vertical shift is always d units up or down. So let's look at my first equation. Um, find the amplitude, period, phase shift, and vertical shift for each equation. The amplitude is the absolute value of 3, which is simply 3. Because remember, this is A, B, C, and D. The period is 2 pi divided by 2, so the period is pi. The phase shift is going to be left pi over 3 or negative pi over 3. The vertical shift is down 2 or negative 2. All right, let's go to letter B. <coughs> Again, this is A, B, C, and D. The amplitude is the absolute value of a half, which is 1 half. The period is 2 pi divided by pi. So it's 2. The phase shift is going to be right pi over 2 or positive pi over 2. The vertical shift is up 8 or positive 8. Let's go to letter C. The reason this says tricky is this is not written in standard form yet, because notice in standard form, we always have just plain old x. This has 6x, which means we're going to have to pull the 6 out into the front. So we're going to have to divide this by 6, which means I have to divide this by 6, since I'm going to pull the 6 out in front. So I'm going to rewrite the equation y equals 4 times the sine, pull the 6 out in front, and it becomes x plus pi over 6 minus 4. Because I pulled the 6 out, I divided by it, it was being multiplied, I divided by it, I had to divide by everything in these parentheses though. Now I have a, b, c, and d. So the amplitude is going to simply be the absolute value of 4, which is 4. The period is 2 pi divided by 6, which is pi over 3, or 1 third pi. The phase shift is going to be left pi over 6, or negative pi over 6. The vertical shift is going to be down 4 or negative 4. All right, let's go to number, I mean letter D. Again, it's not in standard form right now because I need to have 
x by itself, so I'm going to pull that 2 out, so I'm going to divide everything by 2, which means this also gets divided by 2. They both get divided by 2. So I get the equation y equals the cosine of 2 times x plus, since I have a 2 times 2, I have pi over 4. <clears throat> so my a value is right here, which must be a 1, a, b, c, and there is no d. So the absolute value of 1 is simply 1. The period is 2 pi divided by 2, which is pi. The phase shift is left pi over 4. Notice the phase shift is always the opposite of C, or negative pi over 4. The vertical shift is 0, or we could just say no. <coughs> Now we're going to move down to example two, where I'm going to give you the information and then you're going to have to find the a, b, c, and d values in order to write the equation. So the parent function is cosine, the amplitude is two, which means the a value is two, the period is pi. So remember that 2 pi divided by b equals the period. So 2 pi divided by b equals pi. Now I'm solving for b. What I usually do in an in this instance like this is I put this over 1 and I cross multiply. And I get 2 pi equals b pi. I'm solving for b, so I divide by pi. b equals 2. c, the phase shift is 0, so c must be 0. And the vertical shift is negative 2, so d must be negative 2. So my equation is y equals 2 times the cosine of 2 times x plus 0, or I can just put x minus 2. If I wanted to put a plus 0 here, I can, but I don't have to. I can just leave it as x. Let's go to my next one. My parent is cosine. My amplitude is a half, which makes my a a half. My period is 4 pi, so 2 pi divided by b equals my period. I need to remember that. So 2 pi divided by b equals 4 pi. Again, I always cross multiply and I get 2 pi equals 4 pi b. Solving for b, so divide both sides by 4 pi. b equals 1 half. Okay. My phase shift is pi over 2, um, which is right pi over 2. So my c value must be negative pi over 2. It has to be the opposite. Since I'm right pi over 2 for the phase shift, then my c value has to be the opposite, or negative pi over 2. See how these are opposites? The phase shift is right, so the c value is negative. Letter D, vertical shift is 1, therefore D is 1. C is the trickiest one, well, B and C. You have to remember, since it's right pi over 2, 
this is opposite, so it's negative pi over 2. My equation, therefore, is y equals 1 half times the cosine of 1 half times x minus pi over 2 plus 1. Notice my c I put in directly because this is right. I did it the opposite in the equation. Okay. Let's go to letter c. Now I'm doing sine as my um, parent function. My amplitude is 4, so my a value is 4. My period is 3 pi. Remember, 2 pi over b equals the period. So 2 pi over b equals 3 pi. Put this over 1 and I cross multiply. 2 pi equals 3 pi b. Solving for b, so I divide both sides by 3 pi to get rid of that 3 pi. b equals 2 thirds. C value is right, so what actually is happening is right pi over 6. So the C value is going to be negative pi over 6. And the vertical shift is 0. So my equation is y equals 4 times the sine of 2 thirds times x minus pi over 6 plus 0, which I don't need to write in. Right. This last one here on the front. My parent function is sine, my amplitude is 2, so my a value is 2, my period is 2, so 2 pi over b equals the period, so 2 pi over b equals 2. Cross multiply, 2 pi equals 2b. Since I'm solving for b, divide both sides by 2, b equals pi. C, phase shift is 2, which means it's right 2, which means it's minus 2. Because it's the opposite. And D is 2. So my equation is Y equals 2 times the sine of pi times X minus 2 plus 2.